Hi, my name is Connor Bergen with Agco Corporation and welcome to Crop Tour 2016. Crop Tour is a resource for you. It includes events, materials, and ongoing discussions to help us all learn, do, and accomplish more by applying the best in agronomy and crop care, ultimately to increase yields, efficiency, and results. Today's issue and episode is all about making plans. The question, what plans should I be making and which ones will pay off the most? There are plenty of opinions out there. Let's take a look at how some of them might pay off for you. Farmers are progressively using prescriptions from agronomists and other professionals as a way to get more yield while conserving inputs. But at the same time, others are wondering if the added effort and expense will be worth it for their operation. While newer practices bring planning discipline to farmers, some older practices are resurfacing to solve more modern challenges. For farmers, the timeless dilemma remains. When, where, how, and how much. In the old days, planning started when the fields dried and you picked out your seed just before you brought it home. At least that's how it happened at Gall Farms. According to Mike and Mark Gall, who now run the family operation, planning was once done much more on instinct and experience than on science and data. You go back 60 years, they did the check rows, and so they're cultivating multiple directions in the same field, and we got the hilltop rows. And, and today, and back then, they were planting maybe 12, 14,000 plants per acre, and we've almost tripled that in today's age. And so we got a lot more seeds we got to feed in an acre than what they did 60 or 70 years ago. And so that's one big change. And also our management and our ability to know the difference amongst hybrids um, today versus back then. Today, the Gauls farm by prescription. A specific plan is created prescribing the tillage, nutrients, hybrid, and planting characteristics required by each piece of land to achieve maximum potential. We get a better picture for what we want in the fall because it's all fresh in our head. Um, you know, what are we seeing as far as spacing goes and emergence and what that, you know, what that, how that affects our yield. You know, what, and we can look back from the spring previous to that fall, you know, what sort of decisions that we made in the spring worked, what didn't work. Well, we're gonna change that for next year. While some farmers are creating management zones, prescribing tillage, hybrid, and nutrient needs, and tracking their results, many farmers are still going on instinct. And with many things in agriculture, farmers often learn of new ideas first from input and equipment producers. There is a lot of systems that work together to create the right environment for the plant uh, to get that thing the most bushels per acre, the driest it can be in the, in the fall to, to keep it the healthiest it can be throughout the, throughout the season. Understanding the return on investment for different farm prescriptions is fully dependent on collecting data. When a grower sees that he can put, spend some money but gets a bigger return back, they're willing to do that. And that's exactly what they've got to because there's fewer farmers feeding more people and so they've got to get more bushels off every acre. As prescriptions may involve running particular equipment, it may work to emulate the Gall family and do a little test plotting to show what a particular tool or practice will do on a particular piece of ground. This year in the field behind us, we ran a um, field cultivator with, with a drop tie and drag behind it. We ran a vertical till, we ran a disc with a rolling basket, and we also did some no-till with, uh, with the planter and just to see what response we can get from out of the planter, but also ultimately it, it comes down to bushels in the grain bin. Ultimately, all farmers are using prescriptions, even if some are doing it unknowingly. The inherited knowledge of when to plant, what to plant, and how to make it grow still had its genesis in the desire to get more yield from less input. The question is less about whether a farmer will use a prescription and more about which prescription and what it is based on. There are still a lot of stops along the way, so please connect with us and stay tuned. You can visit our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and website pages for more information. Thank you for tuning in, and we're looking forward to seeing you on the tour.